Hi friends, now I am going to explain electrode opposition method to synthesize nanomaterials. This method is also comes under top-down approach. Already we know very well about top-down approach. The process of conversion of bulk material into nanoparticles. So in this approach, already we discussed two methods. First one is laser ablation method. Second one, chemical vapor deposition method. Now I am going to explain electrode deposition method. So before going to the process, first we know the principle. Okay. The principle of electrode deposition is to induce the chemical reactions in an aqueous electrolyte solution with the help of applied voltage. By understanding this principle, we can easily follow the process. The process consists of an electrochemical cell specially designed anode and cathode is used in this cell. During electrolysis, nanostructured materials are deposited at cathode. A sheet of nano copper can be prepared by using two electrodes in copper sulfate electrolyte and applying current, a layer of nanostructured copper deposited on cathode. A sheet of copper with 2 mm thick can be made by this process. It has an average grain size of 27 nanometer. Okay. To understand this process, you see this. So, this is the electrochemical cell. So, this cell contains two electrodes specially designed electrodes. One acts as anode, another one acts as cathode. So to synthesize copper nanomaterials, we take copper sulfate electrolyte. Okay. Next, by applying current, nano crystalline structured copper deposited at the cathode. So this is the cathode. So the layer deposited in this cathode is 2 mm thickness and the grain size of this particle is 27 nanometer. Okay. So likewise we can able to prepare nickel, platinum, silver nanoparticle also. Okay. So this is the process. Advantages of this process is this is the cheapest process. It can be done at a low temperature. Nano materials of nickel, platinum, copper and silver having larger surface area can be prepared. The films obtained are highly flat and uniform. Even complex shape can be coated by using this process. So these are all the advantages of electrode opposition process. Okay. Thank you guys. I hope you all understand well. Thank you for watching this.